This video is all about how to use fast flags in Roblox with Plexity to boost FPS and fix lag after the latest Roblox patch. Before applying these tweaks, my game was dropping frames and stuttering a lot, but after setting everything up, it ran way smoother and more stable. These optimizations work on any PC, so make sure to watch till the end. And if this guide helps you out, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like to support the channel. So guys, the first and most important step is to make sure your Windows system is running at full stability. Start by opening your start menu, typing CMD, then right clicking on command prompt and choosing run as administrator. Now go to the video description and copy the first command. Paste it into the command prompt window and press enter. This command runs dis and restore health which scans the Windows image for deep system issues and automatically repairs or replaces corrupted components. It might take several minutes, so be patient and let it finish completely. Once that's done, go back to the description, copy the second command and repeat the same process. This time, you'll be using the system file checker tool. It runs a full integrity check of all protected Windows files and instantly replaces anything damaged with fresh correct versions. By completing both of these scans, you're ensuring your PC is running clean, stable, and fully optimized before applying fast flags with Plexity. Now guys, the next step is to download the Roblox Plexity Fast Flag Pack using the link provided in the description. Once it's downloaded, open the folder and go to the Registry Optimization section. Inside, you'll find a set of carefully selected registry tweaks designed to make your system more responsive and improve overall gaming performance. Apply all the recommended tweaks one by one. These changes directly target performance bottlenecks, helping you get higher FPS and smoother gameplay in Roblox. After completing that, it's time to use Plexity itself to apply fast flags and boost FPS. Once Plexity is installed, open it. You'll first see a welcome screen where you can choose between light mode or dark mode. Pick whichever you prefer. Then, you'll come across the Roblox priority setting, which determines how much CPU power Roblox can use. If your PC is on the weaker side, set the priority to high so Roblox gets more processing power and runs smoother. However, if you often run background apps like Discord, OBS, or browser tabs while gaming, choose normal to keep your system balanced. Once you finish the setup, Plexity will confirm that the configuration is complete. Inside Plexity, make sure to enable the following options for the best performance. Clean Roblox temp files. Removes leftover cache files that can slow Roblox down. Clean Roblox logs. Clears log files that build up over time. Enable multi-threaded rendering. Allows Roblox to use all your CPU cores for smoother gameplay. Allow cross-game teleportation limit speeds up loading when switching between games. There's also a bottleneck detection feature that helps identify whether your CPU or GPU is limiting performance, but we'll leave that turned off for now since it's optional. You can also change your Roblox cursor through Plexity if you want a different look. Next, open the fast flag section. This is where the major FPS boost happens. Turn on Refresh Rate Unlock, which allows Roblox to match your monitor's refresh rate. For example, if you have a 144Hz monitor, Roblox will now run up to 144 frames per second instead of being capped. Then enable Use Max Frame Rate to completely remove Roblox's FPS limit. Set texture quality to low for smoother performance, especially on low-end PCs. For the best results on Windows, set the render mode to DirectX DX. After that, head to the Plugins tab for extra tools such as server information, ping and location display, 
and quick uninstall options. Finally, to install your fast flags, open the editor settings in Plexity and click add new. Then open your FPS boost pack, go to the presets folder, copy everything inside and paste it directly into Plexity. Save your changes, confirm, and then launch Roblox. Once you've done all this, Roblox should run noticeably smoother with higher FPS, reduced lag, and an overall better gaming experience. All right, guys, if you want lower ping and input lag, you can use Gear Up Booster. Here's how you can use it. To fix high ping and stabilize your network connection in Roblox, we'll be using Gear Up Booster. First, download the tool from the official website. The link is in the description. Once downloaded, install it and open the app. You'll be asked to log in using your Google or Facebook account. Go ahead and sign in to unlock full access. Once you're in, head to the Home tab. If Roblox is already listed there, perfect. If not, go to the Games tab, search for Roblox and add it manually. Now return to the Home tab and click on Roblox, then hit the Boost button. Gear Up Booster will now optimize your game settings and begin scanning for the best server. Next, it will ask you to select a server region. Always choose the one closest to your physical location. For me, Middle East servers work best, but that may vary for you. If you're unsure which one to pick, just select Auto and Gear Up will handle it for you. After selecting the server, a window will open showing even more servers in your selected region. This is the Not tab where you can manually switch servers if needed or stick with automatic mode for consistent ping performance. Finally, close the window and launch Roblox directly from Gear Up Booster. This will apply all your settings and keep your connection optimized throughout your game. If done correctly, you should notice lower ping, fewer spikes and a much smoother experience in Roblox. Now guys, the next step is to reduce unnecessary background processes on your PC to make Roblox run even smoother. Start by clicking on the Windows search bar and typing advanced system settings. From the results, select view advanced system settings. This will open the system properties window. In this window, look for the performance section and click on the settings button. When the performance options window opens, switch over to the advanced tab. Under processor scheduling, make sure the option programs is selected, not background services. This setting tells Windows to prioritize CPU power towards your active applications, like Roblox. Instead of background tools or background services that don't need instant performance, it's a simple but very effective tweak that helps your system allocate more power to your game, which can improve responsiveness and stabilize FPS during gameplay. So that's how you use Plexity Fast Flags to boost FPS and fix lag in Roblox. If this helped, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more optimization guides.